We had a flood here uh, this spring uh, with ice and water, uh, high water. We haven't seen that in a flood like that in my lifetime. The water line over here, right here. The house moved about that much that way. We had water coming up this road, you know, water coming in from back behind the village this way, and water coming in both ways. So we were hit with uh, both sides of the. Um, on both sides of the village here. The house that probably got most damage was at the other end of the village. It actually floated off its foundation and moved about uh, 10, 15 feet. I think the uh, Mennonites are a professional group. They like to see the workmanship that we had to offer. They all know what they're doing. They have their own fields of work. Uh, some of them, and uh, they're all the volunteering to do this and helping people. And that's their goal. Originally the house was down 16 inches and the water came up into the insulation, made it heavy, and pulled it down out of the floor. Well, we're working on a handicap ramp. Uh, and people had just had a set of steps, and we raised the house up 16 inches. I had to make a decision for the people that needed their homes back before the winter sits in, the one with children and their elderly. So that was my goal, to help them first uh, to get back into homes. And uh, so I saw this opportunity to get professional help, so I took this opportunity to uh, use the Mennonite uh, volunteers. I would especially like to uh, make a huge thanks uh, to you folks for, uh, for volunteering your time and efforts to come out and assist the community in recovery. Is that thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for us and his leadership, Lord Jesus. For all this, Lord Jesus, that you give him the knowledge and the wisdom that he has to lead his people. It's, uh, going to feel good to be back, have a home again. Welcome home. <laughs>